And Anthony and Joe join me now, and they really don't get on at all, you no. can tell. No. What a shame. Uh, why are you two together? We're doing a uh, Tommy, the rock opera musical um, in Blackpool. So we're in rehearsals at the minute. And um, well, we're actually friends anyways. We've yeah. known each other way before this, but this is actually the first time we've worked together. But you've done Tommy before, haven't you? Yeah, I did a one-off concert version, um, but not on this scale. I mean, we're doing two and a half weeks up at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool. Um, so it's going to be full it's on. Be great, mate. Yeah. Just do a little scene here. Oh, I can't do it again. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Go on, quick. Just, go on. Um, see me, feel me, touch me, heal me. That's not good Beautiful. at you. Beautiful. But then I come and, and ruin it. And you, Pinball Wizard. I'm the Pinball Wizard boy. I'm playing Cousin Kevin that uh, Paul Nicholas played in the film, and he's obviously directing it as well, so it's great. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a musical that I've always loved. Yes, you postponed what, Anthony? I postponed probably the happiest day of, of my fiance's life. Uh, well, I, and, your and life yours. And mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, postponed the wedding. It was uh, it was set for 12th of September, but that was that's the opening night of the show. So what did, what did you do? How did you tell her? Did you say, darling, I've got a job, but. Uh. Uh, yeah. Like that. Mm. Oh well, I went for the audition, and Paul Nicholas and Peter Frost, the producers, were there, and they said, look. We like what you're doing with the, with the part. We want you to have it. What, there and then? There and the then, literally. Paul, Paul Nicholas just said, I want you to do it. Um, wow. And I was like, wicked. When does it open? 12th of September. Great. <laughs> Phone call. Invites were about to send out. We were about to send you an invite. Didn't oh, happen. Thank you. So we was postponed well, it till next now. year. So she's cool. She's great. Was she all right about she's it? Absolutely fine. She got it. She understood that I, it's something I've always wanted to do. So I love it. Now, you trained as an actor. I mean, you, I mean, you started out Grange Hill and yeah. all sorts of things you've been in, mm -hmm. a casualty. Yeah. Now, you've been in casualty a couple of times, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Um, once in 2010 and once last year, which I nearly missed the uh, birth of my child while I was filming. I've had a right <laughs> neck. <laughs> you had a right leg. <laughs> <light. Yeah. laughs> now, have you done acting before all of this? Bits and pieces. I mean, it, I went to perform an arts college in Newcastle, but this is kind of the first proper musical that I've done. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. And the nice thing about this one is that it's really different mm. to, to any other musical. The, the music is so, like, intense and the storyline is so intense, you know, and I'm playing a deaf and blind person. So that's, like, a completely different, um, like, thing. To be on stage and not react to yeah. anything mm. that's going on is the most surreal thing ever. It's, like, it's really strange. And have me beating him up. Have you there, yeah. being the baddie? Obviously doing the classical crossover album and stuff. People just assume that I've done loads of musicals and everybody always goes oh yeah you know but I've, this is the first like kind of real show that i'll be in the last one the tommy we did last time was a um like a concert version so i'm looking forward to kind of all the scenes and the choreography and we've we seen the set yesterday it's intense, and it's amazing yeah. it's, it's intense. amazing and the cast are incredible unbelievable um, i only met them all yesterday but what i've heard so far is incredible unbelievable your life has changed so dramatically in the past few years and yours i mean there's a lovely story about your teacher at school who said you were going to <laughs> I was going to be a travel agent. And said so you'd, you'd never come to never, anything? Never come to anything, because it was a hard uh, job to, to pursue. So uh, 2002, Blue won the Best Newcomer Award at the Brit Awards. And I took the Brit Award to my old school and went, Miss, do you remember when you said I was a travel agent? Nice one. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> because it's due to the fact that I have been in Blue, yes, but I've always loved musical theatre. So yeah. I just love, obviously, performing with, with, with people like Joe, who's, who's phenomenal, by the way. Um, he literally turned up yesterday for 10 minutes, did his song, and then walked out again because he was so good. Because oh, uh, he's so showbiz. I <laughs> I'm sorry, I can only stay I 10 scented minutes. Ca scented candles and roses as I arrived and everything, you know? <laughs> and kittens in your dressing yeah, room yeah, as yeah. well. And no, somebody it's... carried us in. <laughs> 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 oh, well, listen, uh, good luck with it. A break Thank a leg. You. I know you're going to be wonderful Thank together. You. A real Thank joy. You. And hopefully it's going to tour as well. Yeah, we I hope mean, so. I think that they're just going to see if people enjoy it and, and buy into it, I suppose, and fingers crossed. Oh, well, I will. Yeah, I, I come see it. Come see it. Definitely. Thank you Thank so much, you so guys. Much. Adore you both. Um, because, you know, some artists really are, like, shot out of a cannon. And, you know, l last month, you know, yeah. you were, like, playing in a club, and now you're playing yeah. in an arena.